Hello and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. If you're liking this so far, please hit that like button and leave a comment below to tell me that you're enjoying it. Without further ado, let's crack on. A bat. Ooh, right. Is that a wolf or a fox? Either a wolf or a fox. I want to say a wolf. Don't think, Ethan. Give me oh. the first idea that pops into your head. I want to say a wolf. A wolf's head. Uh, faces, blades, or a crab. I was going to say it looks like a crab. A crab. Shadow, death, and blood. Um, I'm going to say death. Death. It's got the Grim Reapers. Death. It looks like a Grim Reaper anyway. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. What's this? I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Um, unhappy. I know he's really unhappy. He just can't understand why I seem unable to love him. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? He feels depressed. Which one's that one? Square. I no longer want to live. I have no reason to continue. Not even for your son, Sean. I couldn't save Jason. Sean doesn't need a father like me. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Oh, flashback. Uh, blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. I don't think it was like a proper bad accident, you know. It didn't look like she was going slow, um, fast. Problem? Hungry? Do you want to eat something? Uh, school? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Um, do you want to play? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. What's your problem? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right.
Got a look in his bag. Right, hello? Can we get in his bag? There we go. Nope. <laughs> God, these controls. Uh, can we look in his bag? There. A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, it just makes it no, so no, hard because the left stick doesn't back. move your character. You have to keep your finger on the right trigger and then move your character. So it's a bit clunky. Down. Oosh. Doing it again. Ah, two. Watch me mess it up now. Oosh. <laughs> oh, I hit him on his head. <laughs> Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Now, throw it! <laughs> Where's, it gonna... Where's it gonna go? Quick catch! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean! See? That wasn't so hard. That's made him happy. What can we do? Activity. I'll find something else to do with him. A seesaw, maybe? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Come well on then, bro, get on. Wait, which side are you getting on? What, why is he walking like that way? Go on. Oh, look at him, the bonding. <laughs> yeah, we've both had like a traumatic time, haven't we? <laughs> oh, I knew I'd uh, make him fly in the air. <laughs> now what? Happy? He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Merry-go-round. Oh. The merry-go-round's like over there. This is called the roundabout. Oh well. Go on, Dad. <laughs> as fast as you can. Come on. Keep my fingers and all them keep smashing that X button. We're nearly there. There we go. Whoa. I think my head is spinning. Good training for astronauts though. <laughs> Quarter past four. I'll find something else to do with him. Um, merry go round. Can we go on this? Nope. I'm stuck. What the swings? You just ran off. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Come on, lad, get on. Which way are you gonna go? 
that way. Right, okay, so we're going on the back. And leave go. Whee! Oh, we missed it. You're not pushing dead. <laughs> Try again. I didn't expect the uh, the controller to do that. So we have to hit it down like that. Come on, there we go. Hit it like that. It's good when the controller works. <laughs> This has been played on a PlayStation 5, but it's not going to make a difference if this was on the PlayStation 4, since it's not optimised for the 5. Both 1080p and 30 frames. Go on, keep pushing them. There we go. Do this all day, can't we? There we go, it's finished. We should leave the park now. Like rain's coming. I think you better go. Okay. Stuck on the thing. It looks like it's gonna have heavy rain. <laughs> Did you, you get know, it? Sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. How's he going? Are we following him? Coming. This way, which make your mind up. This way. We we'll just leave our kid behind us. Does he want him? Hey, get away from our kid. <laughs> hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Where's the ticket? Over here? Oh, the exit's over there. I guess that's where we were heading to. Uh, one ticket, please, sir. One, please. That's a dollar. Where is he? What the hell? Oh, stop at the camera angle. There he is. He's having another episode. Oh. Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I think I missed that one. I think we just stood in the middle of the road. This must be like some sort of dream. Oh god. <laughs> What's happening? Well, at least we can run quick. Come on, run. Oh, this is bad. Must be a dream this. Um can we go this way. Oh god the controls.
I don't know what that means, that 1.326 inches. Is that rain? I presume that's rain, isn't it? Rainfall. Take long. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. What's our uh, FBI agent? Oh, he's getting his glasses out again. Here we go. Doing is this some sort of game? Oh, it is. <laughs> A bit weird. I think uh, we'll take them off. He's looking at us a bit like weird. Bit of an um, advanced tech, that isn't it? I guess we'll just stay near all the time. Keep rocking about. Ah, so there's only three different animations. Get this out again. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. <laughs> to be frank with you, I could have done without not. the FBI on this one, but the press they are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of people on there again. The country, but what do you know? This guy and then background. Zotti leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. And then background the again. Get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. Pull it down with a knot. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it—it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're going to have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Right, so we've got to speak to her. I presume that woman he's on about is at that desk. Let's go in here first, the conference room. Can we sit down anywhere? There we go. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. 
An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps I wonder if we have to like just get up or anything like that? No. What's the one they've got us there? Make contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. Let's just leave. Go and get in our office. In behind here. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. Right, so who do we need to talk to? Her, I presume. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah, put some in. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Ah, oh, where's she gone? <laughs> oh, she's gone that way. just called office well it's not really this, a this is my office that's where I was told to take you if you need anything you know where to find me I guess we could um, <laughs> use a bit of paint and put a bit of carpet in and it'll be all right okay time to work a few cobwebs on this side that's all good. Let's get a work and see what happens. God, it is proper dusty like, isn't it? What are you doing? Keeping finger on X or tapping X. I, what? Why isn't this working? Oh, we have to press press it very quick <laughs> oh we are rearranging our desk he wants that there okay is uh get his glasses out step one Change the office. Select and open. <laughs> Underwater. Okay, bit of, a, bit of a strange one. What's this one? Oh, 
It's not a bad one. Bit too bright for me though, that. Don't like that. What's this one? Boosh. Oh, then a desert. Huh. Okay. We'll have that one. How do I uh, select? We've had that one. We've had that one. Open, clear, and select. Nature. Not too bad. Unless we have to, like, keep picking them and then it'll, like, go to the next sequence. Because there's no way to actually select it and move on. you got to select and clear all. And you do that. Oh, that's how you do it. Right, so we've got clues, files. We get our clues out. Uh, analyze. Oh, the footprints aren't there. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. And what's this one? Oh, that was the origami thing. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Right, um... What's this? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. If we, if we got the car, that gonna give us like car things. Nope. No data for that. Right, we'll go across again. Do that one. Just one origami store in town. Okay, so we've got an origami town. So let's uh, clear all this. We've got, and we've got the files. What are you doing here? Um, open. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, what's happened there? Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Got no data for that. And what's the analyze? The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Interesting. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Oh, that's all the victims. has a large comfort zone. 
He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Hmm. Right, I've done all that, so let's uh, get rid of them. Who's Ari? This. Oh, does that say, does that say close? I thought it said choose. What's happening to nowhere? He's having a little attack now, isn't he? The hell? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Take this, whatever it is. On some sort of drugs. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? Well, oh, there it he is. was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... I don't know. 445? 445, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son? It did tell you at the start though, didn't it? He was I wasn't even coat. paying attention. Uh black it's like a beige colour, wasn't it? A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Uh god, how many? Brown. I don't know, I can't remember. Brown pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Um, stayed little walk. Can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I waited. I searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Hmm. You guys got a point, like? Did they find something? No, nothing yet. But they're going to keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? 
We didn't leave him though, we had like a crazy flashback, didn't we? It's not what I meant to say. 